Okay, welcome back to episode two, the Pillars of Eternity playthrough. Yeah. No problem. So we uh, crashed on the beach here, shipwrecked. That's our ship. <laughs> the bow looks okay, but let's take a look. Oh, alt is sneaking. Tab shows us things. So many souls lost. Surely someone else survived. There's a soul over there. Why you get used to the hotkeys and the controls of this game again. Potion. Oh, that's a potion. Interesting. Keeping an eye out. Hope the rest of those sodden bastards made it. That's all he has to say. Person up there. It doesn't look so bad, to be honest. The Defiant. Sure. Oh, is it the Defiant? I thought it was the Defiance, plural. What is this? Our attack? Sure. Leave it to me. Maybe we'll turn the total sound down just a touch. What is the... The Defiant is looking far worse for wear after its unexpected landfall. The hull has splintered in several places along the keel, while the tattered sail stands as evidence as your battle Tattered sails stand as evidence of your battle with the pirates. The deck of the Defiant is well out of reach from here. The ship groans like a beached whale each time the waves roll in, but it doesn't seem to be listing further. You may be able to climb up. Scale it by hand. Use the grappling hook. It's just... Watcher only check. Oh, that would be for only me. Or we could use the rope and grappling hook to get both of us up. One good throw, and the hook sails up and over the rail, catching firmly. A few tugs suggest that the hook should hold fast. Lost an item, rope and grappling hook. Let's climb up. The rope makes the ascent considerably easier, and you soon find yourself climbing up over the rail. You're Irena. looking better, Casita. That or I'm worse off than I thought. <laughs> The sheen of sweat on her brow and the wand cast to her features, Billy's, uh, Irena's casual greeting. It's my leg, Matiko. It hurts even worse than it looks. Irena's leg bears a bloody gouge along the length of her shin, and the swelling around her knees suggests a nasty break. Hmm. Let's craft a sprint from some debris. Patch you up best as I can. But you'll want to stay off the leg as much as possible. I wasn't planning on going for a run, Kazita. Irena watches you work with obvious relief. Once you're through, she gives the leg a tentative stretch. Ah, uh, it still hurts, but I can manage from here. Agrasima, have you found any of the others yet? Not yet. I'll start a fire. If any of the others are out there, hopefully they'll see it and turn up. No, I didn't want just... I obviously want both of them. Climb down. Hmm? Got it. Sure. Wonder if the statue has anything else to say now. Nicely Thanks. done, my lord. You'll have need of a crew if we're to get anywhere. Okay. Oh, 
I'm not doing that. Hey, fancy seeing you here. The spirit's voice warps and shifts, muted as if by a great distance. Even so, he grins brightly at you. I can't see much of anything really, apart from you. Just endless gray. What happened? I'm afraid you didn't make it. It's weird. I thought death would be different. Big light and so on. But I don't see anything at all. Just you. Bereth charged me with guiding souls to the afternight. Afterlife, so I guess you're my responsibility now. Oh. Suppose that sounds nice enough. I'll follow you then, shall I? Come along then. Spirit falls into step behind you, radiating cheer. Still seeing ghosts, huh? Suey, Suey. Yeah. Oh wow! Hey. I guess that was like a critical hit. Of course. Ah, Chitupek. Watcher, over here. I saved his life. Before. It is good to see you well, Watcher. I believe the boars were hoping for easy meat. Chitupek greets you with a relieved nod and checks the pistol at his hip. The bosun, Beadal, is in that cave over there. Ran in after a boar. Stubborn old dwarf. What happened? After we made landfall, you mean? I woke and Beadal was close by. Swearing fit to bring Andra's wrath upon us a second time. We began to search for supplies. I came over this way in hopes of gathering some of that blood moss over there. I thought it might be of use. I imagine the boars had the same idea. Mm, I'll look for Beta. I will make for the campfire. I must get this pistol cleaned if it's going to be of any use. Be careful in there, Captain. Well, let's go into the cave then. Nothing for it, I suppose. I guess we're not the first to head this way. Oh uh, yeah, not with the torches lit. Well, it also seems weird that there's... ...is... ...medical supplies. Medicine can be a risky venture, even when it's not on the high sea. Ship surgeons. I guess that's like tier one medicine or something. That's a toggleable ability. Uses incoming ranged weapon damage as well as. How do we increase that for less deflection but more? Penetrate armor. Nice. Slow mo kill cam. Sure. Yeah. That's not what I meant to do. Trouble up ahead. Skeleton. There. Range things through here. Boy. Small forms dart swiftly world below.
Let's do this. Oh my lord. Well, that felt good. Yeah. Eh? Sure. For him. Medium shield. We currently have. Oh my gosh, all sorts of stuff. Leather armor. Every time that that's thirty five percent. I don't want to put him into the leather armor because he's you no know, supposed to be a rogue. Medium shield, saber. Give him a saber and a dagger. This instead would give us the second chance. I have a large shield equipped and aren't exactly what I want. We'll on our mode and space pig plus one constitution. While not flank, the wearer has resistance to perception of the. Yeah, it gives an eye patch too. I can't wear it because I can't use headgear, so I guess that's. There. <laughs> now it looks like a pirate. No problem. Why not? Good thing I saw him first. Oh boy. Hmm? Let's go. You like that? Not even close. here glow an eerie blue and the cave glistens reflected light you can just make out an opening in the cavern wall to the northwest where the water flows onward interesting the tunnel seems to extend a short distance before turning sharply but you cannot see where it leads leave it for now Well, that's our boat. Pirates! Andra, take your scabrous souls for fish food. Bayadol! Still alive and calling everybody scabrous, I see. Well, now we got a bosun. Just need a boat. Adair! And I see that corpse we've been carting around is looking a slight more sprightly. Good to see the two of you, but mind your step. I've got myself in a spot of trouble. Than trying to find a way past without losing a leg or getting a face full of poison. Hmm. You can either try and take care of them. I can take oh, care of a I few traps. Something fierce, so mind yourself. Yeah. What are his skills? Okay, so he's got a lot of might, constitution, 
Not a ton of dexterity in. Perception, but some. Not a lot of intellect and some resolve. Yeah, I think he's definitely meant to be a fighter. But we made him a rogue, so... I suppose might is just straight damage. Yeah, he doesn't need the constitution so much. His health being like that. Um, action speed and reflex. Yeah, he wants dexterity to be high, probably perception. And then might third. I would say... He has mechanics too. I have Arcana 2, Athletics 3, Diplomacy, Intimidate Religion. He has mechanics, Sleight of Hand, Stealth. Yeah, so he is our... Take a gander over there. Look at all these traps. Easy mode. Sure. Keep it down. What do you need? Keeping an eye out. The barrel. Got like sure. a sword on it. Whoa. What do you need? Yeah. We almost walked into that one. I don't see why not. Hmm? Breastplate. Interesting. Hmm? Bless you, Lord. Would have been a sorry way to go. Caught up in a dead pirate's trap. It's just bats and stinking corpses in this cave. You find anyone else? He gingerly sets his weight on his injured foot, grimacing. We've got a campfire going on the beach. Then I'll head that way myself. See you on the beach, Captain. Cuttlefish. Nice. Good thing I saw him first. Oh. oh. Well, I suppose they've seen us now. So, time to go in. Gun swinging on that. And we will be there. Who's gonna go over the sides so that he's flanked? That's a revenant. That's a copper construct. Do the skulls represent its difficulty? After him. Oh, he's also now flanked. Let's do this. He's immune to that. Interesting. Hmm? Let's I'm try that. <laughs> He is hurting. Yeah, Leon hands him. Killing machine doing a get by himself in a cave anyway. Hammer and chest. Thoughts? A dozen paintings, milled with mildewed and worthless, lined the wall. Looks about as good as it smells at this point. Amongst broken bottles and rotting wood. Well, that's gonna be hard to clean. Oh boy, ring of minor protection. Interesting. And scroll of fan flames. Now I can actually use that, I suppose. Incape leather armor. Let's just see if it looks cooler. It does look cooler, matches the hat better. And I kinda wanna give this to him, maybe? Even though I'm supposed to be more of the tank, but the reason I want to give it to him is because if I'm the tank, then he's going to be more vulnerable. Does that make sense? That. Pretty 
got two here. White leaf. A stun bomb. Okay. I'll also take that since I can use. Give him those traps, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Oh. Ray of fire. Dog. Dog's always good. Um. Well, give him that too. Eh? Eh? Got it. Leave it to me. Pox cap. And I think there was another skeleton over here. Oh wow. He didn't even have to... I was gonna try and flank him. But no need. Oh I guess maybe now there's a need. Oh he got him too. That must hurt. Yeah. Just one shot all of those skeletons. Oh, a pistol. Eber and pistol. Here's what I want. Got a saber and a dagger. What if, as a swashbuckler, what if he dual wields sabers as pistols? Dual wield pistols for his range. I almost want to be a dare more than I want to be me now. It feels so boring with the sword and shield. Sure. It should be the swashbuckler on the high seat. Oh, the, my sabers and my guns. Why? Waterlogged note. Still no sign of Benwith. How much longer are we going to wait? The wet's already ruined, have our take. And get your stinky construct under control. Been hanging up by that crystal. I swear it's been giving me the eye. Take all of those. Please and thank you. They're trapped. <laughs> what? Uh, That's not yes, nice. I guess I wasn't so hard. The Valian frock coat. Light armor. Recovery time plus zero, but it's only three armor rating. Well, how there. Now he's looking like a proper pirate. Hmm? Sure. Maybe we should try going up this way, out of the cave through this strange water, or to wherever it leads. And step down into the water. The water is cool, but not uncomfortably so, and you swim forward into the tunnel. Your powerful strokes propel you along swiftly, and you find a few air pockets within comfortable, comfortable reach of your starting point. You're certain you can make it through the tunnel without much trouble. One. Swim through. I guess, yeah. We'll swim through by yourself. Air pockets provide a much needed reprieve as you make your way through the cramped waterway. You make short work of the journey come up into what appears to be another, smaller cavern, where sunlight streams in from an opening in the stone. What do you need? Uh-huh. Eh? Eh? Okay, so I guess that's where we came through. Now we're just leaving a different way. Oh, so there's treasure over here. Told him not to bring that thing in there. Didn't like the look of it one bit. But no, no one dare speak poor of his precious animancy tech. The ghostly figure paces the length of the small outcropping with quick, deliberate steps, muttering to herself all the while. 
Her long cape flaps with a wind that blows from the in-between. Special gift from his contact, he says. Now it's acting all weird. Gives me the damn creeps. You feel it too, right? Like it's looking straight through you? She turns piercing purple eyes on you. She shakes her head and resumes her pacing. Came out here to get away. Couldn't stand it staring at me anymore. Then... Then... Oh, my memory's fuzzy. Anyway, you want a Benwith? I haven't seen you for, but he's been bringing all sort of new folks on lately. Can't hardly keep track. I don't know how to tell you this, Spirit, but you're dead. Spirit? Wait a tick, is that why everything's all grey? Hell, that explains some things. And here I thought maybe I just bonked my head. Look, maybe we should stick together. Feels right, you know? What with you being the only other thing around and all. I can give you a hand with, uh, spirity stuff. Stay with me. I'll find a way to return you to the wheel. I tell you, mate, I'd take anything over this endless grey. Even Remagon's frosty ass crack. Okay. The spirit tries to give you a friendly pat on the shoulder, but her hand passes right through you. Unperturbed, she grins and walks along behind you. Another pistol, healing stun bombs, and a few golden opals. Guess we have to go back now. Swim through. Lario's Rest. Alright, let's see about this campfire and where the rest of the crew they might be doing. Wait, where's the... Where's the campfire? Oh, is it further up this way, perhaps? I'm confused. That's the Defiant. Going quietly. There's nothing for miles. Ah, over this way. Here's our crew. Ah, and perhaps some supplies. Another sword and more healing potion. Spark crackers. Why not? Oh, a few more people up here. Eld Engrin and Bella. Spy! Magran here! Is that ye? Game? Eld Engram appears to be in sound condition, though his waxed jacket is soaked through. He praises you with bleary-eyed amusement. You woke just in time for the fun. Fighting off motherless raiders one moment, flung into the freezing depths of Andra's bosom the next. Engram's eye twitches as he flashes a smile, notably for its extraordinary, notable for its extraordinary absence of tea. Interesting. Aye. Magran learns us poor bastards that a little excitement's good for the heart. Even the gods can't break me, Engram. Some others might think that blasphemy. But when Magran hears it, Captain, oh, she knows you're filled with a fire. His eyes grow wide in excitement. Can we go back on the ship now? Vela. Vela rocks back on the heels of her feet, watching you both. Vela, don't let Engram be a bad influence while I'm gone. That's unkind. You're the one decided to pluck this wean from the wild of Air Glanforth. Blame that stone steward of yours for bringing the furry maid along. Uncle Engram, you promised me ale. <laughs> Later, sweetie. 
Uncle Engram's thirsty too. He absentmindedly taps on his chest, near his heart, sounding the thunk of something metal beneath the priest's jackets. Oh, he's a priest. Oh, good. Alright, so I guess we found the crew. And that's further away. Well, let's go talk to the crew then. You got a means of repairing your ship. And a trail leading up to the beach. Well, let's go a little farther inland and see where we find ourselves. Rodden Sanctum has been installed. Begin the first quest of this adventure. Okay. Okay, so that's DLC stuff, I'm guessing. Okay, so this, we get a little world map like this. What? That's how you move about? That's kind of cool. Oh, it's also making time pass. A lot of time pass. <laughs> really paying attention to that. Oh, we've both leveled up. We should definitely do that. Wow, alchemy, arcana, magical that do not deal with metaphysics. Power level scrolls, athletics, explosive mechanics, sleight of hand, stealth. Passive skills, bluff, diplomacy, history, insight, intimidate, metaphysics. Religion, streetwise, and survival. Perhaps. Perhaps we just further stack up on our athletics. I'm so mechanic sleight of hand and stealth. That's Adair. He's our rogue. I can have most of those two covered, or at least very much athletics. And then I'm guessing we get someone explosives and alchemy seem like they go hand in hand. Um, and then buff. There has two. Yeah, so I like that it shows how much your party has, so that kind of doesn't matter what only one person has. Zero, zero, two, zero, three. Oh, and it gives you a party score if more than one person has the same thing. That's really cool, because you can have party assist. Speed wise, yes, yeah, so we've got three total in religions, wise, and survival. That's awesome. And we're gonna Double down on diplomacy as well. Okay, here's where we get into things. But those are the things I already know. These defensive bonuses to faith and conviction. Sing striding, granting a defensive defensive bonus against disengagement attack. And suffering damage, gain a stacking bonus to damage dealt on your next weapon attack. Backs up to five times. Plus five, you can get up to 25% bonus damage. Gain an additional armor set. Arms set. Weapon set. Mark an enemy. And damage bonus. Uh, until combat ends, th that seems good, especially against like bosses. Okay, I think we're done with him. Next, we'll level up Adair. Let's go mechanics. We want to make sure that we can always get into 
you know, locked chests and past traps and things. And let's get him further up on the bluffing. Immune to engagement and plus 50 deflection for 3 seconds. So he can basically dart out of the way with that. Increase the damage done from stealth and invisibility. Or dramatically increases damage done from stealth and invisibility. When critically hit, becomes immune to engagement. Additional weapon set. Scaling effectiveness in armed attacks. Hmm. Increase the accuracy. Yeah, it doesn't seem great. Maybe that? At level 3. Okay. So that can be good for dual wielding later on. Roll. Maybe we just get that passive one seems pretty good. Fast runner. Let's go with that. Okay, and there we are. We are going to next travel out. Yeah, we gotta travel out. We'll explore that camp that's nearby. That would look kind of like an abandoned campsite. We're there, and then we'll go. Really, there's a town further up that way. Somewhere. Or maybe that's... I don't know what that's pointing to. Pointing to something way off in the distance. Maybe that's I don't know we'll see but uh, that is gonna end it for episode 2 of this Pillars of Eternity 2 dead fire playthrough thank you so much for watching I hope you're enjoying it so far and I'll catch you next time in episode 3